In this video, we will be doing example four from section 3.9. Let me focus this. There we go. Okay, so it says use differentials to approximate the square root of 16.5. Round your answer to four decimal places and compare your answer to that of a calculator. Okay, so first off, we have to start off with a function. So my function that I'm going to use is going to be um, the square root of a number. Okay. Then now I need to come up with an x value and a differential, okay? A difference, okay? So if I say x is equal to, and let's pick a perfect square close to this number. A perfect square close to that number would be 16, okay? And then dx, or delta x, I'm sorry, would be that original number minus my number that I picked that was really, really close, which would be 0 0.5. Now this number can be represented by delta x or it can be represented by dx. They're the same, okay? And so if we remember our um, equations before, your f of um, c plus delta x, being our c is approximately equal to f of c plus f prime of c times dx. Okay, so we need to figure out first what f prime is before we can plug all of this in. Now, this means that I have 16 for my c and delta x is that difference, which is 0.5. f of c is going to be the square root of 16. f prime of c, I'm not sure just yet because I don't know what f prime is, um, but then dx is also the same increment 0.5. Delta x and dx are usually the same number. Um, at least for the purposes of our work here, it will always be the same number. Now, if I'm finding f prime, that means I need to take x raised to the one half. I need to have the exponent form of my original function. So that means I would have one half x to the negative one half. Another way of writing that is one over two square root of x. So if I plug in c in here, remember c is 16, I get 1 over 2 square root of 16. So if I combine these, I get f of 16.5 is approximately, square root of 16 is 4, 2 square root of 16 is 4, f of 16 would be the square root of 16.5, and I get 1 over 8 times 0 0.5. which is 1 over 16, I believe, if you write this as a half, right? Then it would be 1 over 16, which means it's approximately 4.0625. So that's my approximation, okay? And then it says to compare it with that of a calculator. So what would I get if I just typed in square root of 16.5? Um, in the calculator, square root of 16.5 is approximately 4.062019202. So you notice that we were off only by the tenths, hundreds, thousandths, five ten thousandths, okay? which means you can use differentials to kind of estimate what the actual value would be. Okay, they're very, very similar and not very far off. But they're just used to estimate, not used to find the exact answers.